Europe gets a Tesla Semi makeover, unveiling the electric truck's future and the challenges it faces. Stay here for the clean energy revolution. Following Musk's most recent revelation regarding the large rig, the Tesla Semi truck is probably going to get a completely redesigned interior. It is also possible that the 82,000 pounds total weight and the previous measurements will vanish. Elon Musk, who has the most insane ambition, officially introduced the Tesla Semi at Giga Berlin. However, according to information that was leaked, a supply chain problem is the main reason why the massive rig is stranded in Giga, Nevada. The Semi truck would advance significantly if this obstacle were overcome. How is the Tesla Semi performing in daily life? Let's check in on today's video. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe to it and also press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates in the future. Let's start the video. Tesla has announced its decision to build electric trucks in Europe, a move that could potentially reduce emissions and contribute to a cleaner environment. Elon Musk discussed the production of semi-trucks in Germany during a visit to Tesla's Gigafactory amidst recent arson incidents in Giga Berlin. Musk believes the decision is reasonable and demonstrates Tesla's commitment to Europe as well as its position as a leading automaker in the region. This move is expected to help reduce emissions and improve the overall environmental impact of electric vehicles. Electric trucks are gaining popularity due to stringent environmental policies and increased production costs. Tesla Semi, an emission-free vehicle, could significantly reduce these costs. Elon Musk's plan to expand Gigafactory Berlin to increase production capacity from 500,000 to 1 million units is part of this expansion. Tesla Semi's Model 2 could potentially accelerate growth, but it may not contribute significantly to the 1 million unit target. Tesla may produce around 20,000 electric semi trucks per year, equivalent to 150,000 electric cars. The company is considering producing various types of semi trucks in Europe with details to be changed to suit European traffic. Indeed, in Europe, we have restrictions on dimensions so the tractor length must be as short as possible. For this reason, the Tesla Semi may need to be redesigned to European standards limiting the maximum height of trucks to 612 feet, with a maximum weight of 880,000 pounds or 40 tons. Typically, standard trucks in the US are 72 feet long, 8.5 feet wide, 13.5 feet tall, and electric trucks can have a total weight of up to 82,000 pounds with an additional 2,000 pounds, encouraged in electric truck priority policies. This means Tesla will have to ditch the aerodynamic tractor inspired by the Japanese Ion and switch to a cab over design with a flat nose. On the other hand, they could find a way to maintain the Tesla Semi bullet-shaped design but shrinking the Tesla Semi's hood should be necessary. What do you think about making a new cabin for the Tesla Semi if it has to comply with European standards? To operate in Europe with customers demanding meticulous weight requirements poses a challenge for the Tesla Semi truck as it'll also need to increase its load-bearing capacity. This may require stronger brakes and slightly more metal at the rear of the tractor. We suspect that the Tesla Big Rig will require a stronger engine as the Semi already has a torque ranging from 1000 to 2000 Newton meter and a power output that could reach 1500 horsepower. But of course, Tesla's reduced it to around 100 horsepower to protect the tires. The EU standards for trucks could soon change primarily in at least some aspects. The goal is to facilitate the adoption of electric trucks relaxing these regulations will go hand in hand with stricter CO2 emission standards. The coming years are the perfect time for Tesla to launch a European version of the semi truck. In reality, when it comes to trucking, sometimes the cost of diesel fuel is not crucial and the cost of electricity is not factored into prices and is tax deductible. What matters is the distance traveled each day and the amount of cargo transported for electric trucks to become a reality. They must be able to cover a distance equivalent to one diesel truck's journey without needing to recharge. If a truck has to sit idle for two hours while charging during the day, it'll lose money. If you're wondering whether producing semi-trucks in Europe would be profitable for Tesla based on the current or at least anticipated battery cost by the end of this year, the reality is slowly approaching equivalence. However, we haven't achieved complete equivalence for a semi yet because the battery size in a semi truck is indeed very large. The operating costs are much lower. The difference between operating an electric semi truck and a diesel one is enormous. You can recoup the investment cost in less than two years just through the difference in fuel cost. So what's the reason why the Tesla Semi is known as an economical rig? The price of kilowatt hours at Tesla supercharges in Europe ranges from 13 cents at night to 40 cents during peak hours. 
It is worth noting that this is for superchargers and the difference in cost isn't too significant compared to the mega chargers that Tesla Semi uses. Of course, trucks certainly plan their trips to avoid having to charge their vehicles during peak hours. In contrast, the average diesel fuel price for a truck drive in Europe is around 59 cents per kilometer, equivalent to approximately 64 US cents per kilometer including watts. In the United States, the average electricity price is currently 1573 per kilowatt hour when applied to the transportation sector, especially with Tesla Semi the electricity consumption needs to be meticulously calculated. With the Tesla Semi announced consumption of 1.7 watt hours per mile, driven a simple calculation shows that for each mile of operation, the electricity consumption cost of the Tesla Semi would be approximately 26 US cents. This is a significant figure to consider regarding operational costs and the potential energy cost savings of electric vehicles in the transportation industry. On the other hand, in the US, using the current average retail price of diesel at $4 per gallon and assuming a fuel consumption consumption rate of 6 miles per gallon when fully loaded, we can easily determine that the fuel cost of a typical diesel truck falls at around 66 US cents per mile. Tesla is preparing to produce its semi-trucks in Europe due to their flexibility and cost savings. However, concerns remain about the development of the production line at Giga Nevada. Hendrik Zane, a Tesla semi-advocate, has reported that Tesla is building a separate building for high-volume production and is expected to produce and distribute between 500 and 1000 units before the high-volume product line begins. The production lines for the semi run from east to west at the 550 Milan Avenue building which has two production lines. Tesla currently assembles at least plate motors including inverters, temperature pumps, battery packs and screens. The company may also assemble wiring harnesses, seats and steering wheels. This delay in electric truck production may have been due to suppliers overlooking small scale orders as Tesla can't store all parts at the factory. The semi production line may offer opportunities for automation. It is still being put together together by skilled engineering teams by hand at the moment. If the Cybertruck Model Y and Model 3 are any indication, the Tesla Semi might be added to a lineup of vehicles. The frame is assembled to form a box structure in theory. A primary shaft and gearbox are then assembled, and the wheels, tires, electric C hydraulic lines, battery pack cabin and other components are added thereafter. It may seem clear cut and easy, but that's only theory, and there will always be some difficulties in real life. As you can see, the assembly line is rather short. It matters because as we approach mass production, we believe there is a good chance Tesla will start more production lines. Rather than starting with just two, they could easily add three, four or five more, bringing the total number of production lines to five. Then, before the mass production facilities are prepared and geared up, construct a modest number of Tesla semis. Ultimately, Tesla is confronting a wide range of difficulties. Gigafactory Nevada's expansion to construct the Tesla Semi was announced in January 2023. The project has experienced numerous delays. It is still unknown when Tesla will start producing an electric pickup truck because construction on the vehicle only started in January of this year. Elon Musk has not yet confirmed any of the facts. Bringing the Tesla Semi to Europe eventually presents many challenges that Tesla needs to solve and the company may decide not to invest in production at other plants until the vehicle is mass produced in the Nevada Giga factory. The major market that Tesla is currently ignoring is Asia. China has a sizable demand for electric trucks but there is a lot of competition. We surmise that Tesla sees more business opportunities in Europe where there is less competition than China but where their market is driven by numerous environmental regulations. No long range electric truck has yet to be released by conventional truck manufacturers. In contrast, Nikola competes with Tesla in North America even though BYD and other conventional truck manufacturers such as Volvo Dahmer truck produce pickup trucks with considerably better characteristics. Characteristics. The Freightliner not even an attempt is made by Peter Bilt to compete in the long haul road transport industry. The impact that a Tesla Semi will have after it successfully navigates all production related obstacles and is widely deployed by a variety of businesses, not only PepsiCo, is beyond our comprehension. One excellent illustration is the way PepsiCo commends its electric fleet and views it as an essential component of its transportation fleet. 
Amanda Duval, Ms. the Strategic Fleet Director of Pepsi, stated that a significant portion of Tesla Semi's daily mileage is less than 200 kilometers, and they are often utilized for 12 hours a day. These high-capacity charging stations enable Tesla Semi drivers to charge their vehicles from 5 to 95% battery life in as little as 20 to 30 minutes. She adds that Tesla semis can navigate challenging routes because of regenerative energy technology with some routes appearing to not use much energy while the vehicle regenerates. It assists Pepsi in reducing its gasoline expenses. Kindly, Mr. Dean Enowish, the head of Pepsi's electric vehicle section, thinks that the Tesla truck has a lot to offer the company going forward. The transportation industry is set to enter a new age as environmentally friendly cars replace diesel trucks on regular routes thanks to advancements in electric vehicle battery and charging technologies. Large goods trucks, which make up only 4% of all vehicles on the road, can consume up to 25% of fuel and contribute 30% of all vehicle emissions in the US. Using environmentally friendly Tesla rigs can help operating companies save money while also helping the environment. That's all. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments section below that how do you feel about this Tesla electric truck and what do you think about the future of the zero emission transportation industry. Also, check out the video here lined up for you.